Hey Rat Bags, today I'm going to go through everything you need to know about temperatures and what armors are best for dealing with the hot and cold. So when you first start out in summertime in the nice bright forest, it's pretty much warm and pleasant. During nighttime it will get a little bit colder, but you shouldn't really take any damage. That changes though, as soon as it becomes winter, you should even start taking damage even by leaving your base area. That's if you're running around wearing no armor at all. The most basic armor that you get at the beginning is the villager set. The villager set is going to give you 8 plus defense against cold or heat. So it's perfect for giving you a little bit of armor and you should be fine while exploring the bright forest at night time. The exception to that sometimes can be in winter, but you should be okay even then. If you didn't know, the seasons change every sort of 13 or the end of 13 days, 14 days. So the first 13 days it will be summer, then the next 13 days it will be winter, etc. Whenever you're at a shrine or a trader, you actually get protection against the cold and heat. You see in the top left, they've been minimized. It's only a small little square for blue and red. But of course, as soon as you leave it, it goes back to what it should be. And if the little white line is in either the blue or red, you're going to start taking damage. Whether it's heat damage from the desert or cold frostbite from cold areas. You get protection also at traders too. You would think that maybe taking off all of your gear would maybe keep you a little bit warmer. But it doesn't really work like that. Instead, you need to make sure you get armor pieces that give you protection against heat. The exception to that, of course, is being able to cool off in water. So these are the basics that everyone should pretty much know. When it's winter time, at night time, it can still be too cold and you might take damage. If you actually stand near one of these geysers, geysers, that will basically protect you against the cold, even in the desert, but without making it significantly hotter. If you're exploring the land of pools during the summer, you should be okay as well. You won't need any additional potions during the day, although it may get just about on the cusp of cold if going around at night time. In winter, again, it will still be too cold even to explore the land of pools without taking some damage. And of course, as soon as you step into the glacier peaks, you will start taking damage pretty rapidly. So something to bear in mind, you normally have around seven to 10 seconds in the glacier peaks before you will start losing health. So even with a protection of eight wearing all the villager gear, it's still not gonna be enough, you will freeze. And chances are you're not gonna be running around exploring areas naked unless you get some special runes that give you more damage. When that happens, then you might have to think a bit more about carrying some of the braziers that can also give you heat and you can place them down almost anywhere in the world or making sure you've got plenty of elixirs that you can go and craft yourself or find certain merchants to sell them to you. So with that in mind, let's start taking a look at the armors properly and which ones are worth crafting or maybe just skipping. The Hursa set is pretty bad for exploring the desert. It's basically going to be exactly the same as wearing the villager set. So you basically want to make the Hursa set when you want to go and explore some of the cold. You'll basically get a protection of 13 against the cold, but still only 8 against heat. But that's still not going to be enough to keep you protected while running around the glacier peaks, not even during daytime. And at dusk at night time, you're going to do a lot more damage to you. But it should be enough to stop you taking damage at night time when you're running around the land of pools. The Hursa set should protect you also when you're exploring Ash Beach. Because when it's night time, it does get pretty cold there too. If you want to go and explore the deserts, the best set to wear is actually the Raider set in the early game. Bearing in mind it costs quite a lot of resources and a lot of kind of hoops to go through to upgrade your armor bench to level 3. The Raider set does give you a little bit more protection against the cold. Just like the Hursa set was pretty useless against the heat, the Raider set is pretty much useless against the cold. You'll still only have 8 protection while wearing the Raider set. So that's the same as the Villager set. So don't assume just upgrading your armor is automatically going to give you better protection against heat or cold. The problem with the game is it doesn't tell you explicitly each armor set how it will fare in different biomes and at different stages. So you can see the little bar underneath the power number. It is fluctuating the blue and red bars depending on what armor set I'm actually trying or equipping or putting on. So you get the idea. You can run around naked if you really want during the day in the bright forest as well as obviously the land of pools and you'll be fine. If you go towards the beach, it might start getting a bit too cold and of course the glaciers will be way too cold. And in summertime, the villager set should be okay while you're exploring anywhere during the day other than the glacier peak or of course the desert where it will be still too warm. But in winter time during the day, you should be okay with the Hursa set, anything below that and you might start getting cold. And even at night time, the Hursa set should just about keep you all right. So during the summer, while exploring during the daytime in the desert, 
as long as you've got Raider gear on, you should be okay. You are probably going to need more advanced leather sets once you start exploring some of these zones, like the lairs or the outposts, for Surtur. But otherwise, you'll be safe enough using this set while exploring. And of course, at night time, you won't have to worry as much either. If you find any hideouts, you don't have to worry about temperature while inside them either. But given how expensive armor sets are, you don't really want to be crafting every single set at every single level. And it goes without saying that the Raider set is pretty useless at guarding against cold. You still only get 8 cold defense, which won't be enough to keep you alive while exploring the glacier peaks. The Raider set on its own is 18 protection against heat. So if you pay attention and don't explore the desert unless it's night time, I would say skip the Raider set altogether and see if you can go straight for something like the Nornoko. You need mostly the Mushroom Thunderbolt stuff from exploring the Land of Pools and obviously lots of yarn. Even just wearing the chest piece and the trousers is going to give you 18 protection against the heat. So just as much as the Raider set. And you can see I'm not going to be taking any damage. After that I would go for the Norma coat. It doesn't give as much protection against cold as the Feral Rags. Feral Rags is 10 for the chest piece where it's only 7 for the Norma coat itself. But that's still a massively big number. You could try and skip this altogether though and try and aim to get the next armor set once you've got the armor stand upgraded. Let's say the mantle's also good against cold and heat and really useful against Agroboda. The chest piece alone gives 11 protection against the cold. Compare that to the Norna set which only gives 7, the Raider set which only gives 3 and even the Hursa set which gives 4. But you'll still need at least 3 pieces of armor to guarantee that you won't take any damage while exploring the cold biomes at night. I'm only wearing two here and it's still too cold during the summertime. Wearing the complete set's going to give you 31 protection against the cold. And in actual fact, even wearing the whole set, it's still going to give you 14 protection against heat. So you'll be absolutely fine exploring some of the cold areas. Again, the exception to this is what season it is. In winter time, you will have to be more careful you may still need an additional buff like either a room like cold blood or at least one small elixir. The other thing to remember is that cold blood room. It does give you 100 HP when suffering from cold. If you have three of these equipped, you can run around in the daytime in the glacier peaks wearing absolutely nothing. I say this because they do stack, you do get the benefit of it. It's kind of hard to tell here because it's only giving 100 health basically because you're full, but if you take any damage from any enemies, you'll notice that your health replans a lot quicker. But even wearing just one of the runes will definitely help you out, and you won't really need anything else. It will simply stop the cold from doing you any serious damage. Even at night time, this rune is amazing. It will keep you protected, keep you constantly pretty much regenerating your health. The exception to that might be night time, where you might just be taking a bit too much damage. So, a quick recap. In terms of armor, I always feel like it's better to make the Hursa set first. It's going to give you protection against cold, it will still give you protection against heat, and as long as you stay out in the desert during the daytime, it should just about keep you okay to explore all of the lands or go throughout the night. The Raider set is really only good if you are someone that's going to be spending a lot of time in the desert. It has exactly the same elemental damage types as, as the Hursa set as well. It's just better if you use an axe. After that, I would still probably go for the Norna coat. While it's not as good against the cold as the feral stuff, you're still going to have more than enough to protect you. It's only during winter that you might need something a little bit more. There are some caveats to this though. The Norna coat is good for taking more damage against Jan Saxa and Hologi, whereas the feral is a general all-rounder, giving 3 plus defense stats against all of them. But you do get extra perks when you have the Norna set. And then out the Seder Mantle and the Goldberg's Heart, it's got to be Seder Mantle. You really don't need Goldberg's Heart until you may be starting to think about trying to take on Surtur. And by then, hopefully you'll be able to get your arm stand upgraded and you can go straight for Ember's Core instead. And then after that, pretty much all the armor sets do great jobs against all of the heat. It doesn't get any colder, there's no Fimble Winter like there is in the Saga mode where you need one of these later game armor sets to survive up to day 15, 16. The temperatures in survival mode are pretty easy to navigate. Of course, you can always go and buy some of the elixirs as well, or if you've already upgraded your potion station, make some yourself, only needing red meat and mushroom oil to make it. Taking just a regular cold elixir potion, you can see it completely nullifies the cold. 
In winter time, you may need the extra one, the more upgraded version. Two minutes you get to run around, even naked, you can do so while have one of these potions. So for that has been useful, it really isn't as bad as it used to be in the original survival mode, winter and stuff. It's much easier to deal with now, so yeah, you don't have to panic or worry too much. As long as you follow my guide and maybe unlock the armor sets like I said. You can mix and match as well, you don't have to have the complete sets, but always aim for the chest piece first, as they always give you the bigger protection against cold and heat. So, go and check out the rest of my guides, and I'll see you at bags for more survival news and tips soon.